Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about the fundamental concepts of geometry. This is the basic part for class six students. Okay. So geometry is you very well know geometry is new for you all. Now what does this mean? What does the term geometry mean? Geometry is the study of position, shapes. sizes and other properties of different structure that is we are going to learn regarding different shapes and sizes their position and their different properties some geometrical terms like point line or sp- uh, plane we can say ray etc 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 are going to be discussed in this topic so and these all things contain the basic idea for the development of geometry clear to all Okay, so now we'll proceed with this. Now, first part is point. What is a point? Generally, in in general language, what we can say, what is a point? It is a kind of a dot. <laughs> okay, but the very basic definition, or we can say explanation for the word point is, it is the mark of a position. For example, if I ask you, uh, where is the fan? So what you will all do? You will point. towards the ceiling here yes so no that is you are just telling me regarding uh, about the position of that so you are marking towards the ceiling what does it mean that is you are pointing towards the ceiling so what is a point a mark of position it doesn't have any length width and thickness and also it does not occupy any space so it is represented with a dot only we can say anything a point a b or c it is represented as this okay second part is line what is a line now a line has only length it extends on either side okay but it neither has any width nor any thickness it is only measured linearly okay and it is represented with this sign that is the arrow on both the sides we can mark it like this in the notes also i have given you the description for that for example if i ask you to draw a line ab what you will do we will make a line like this mark this position as a this position as b but the end points are marked with an arrow okay because it doesn't have any specific length it continues on both the sides on either side also okay it doesn't end it one more main point is also there a line has not doesn't have an ending and a starting point clear to all so we mark it with arrow on both the sides and represent it written like this that is line ab with this arrow sign over the letters clear to everyone this is the representation of this diagram of line ab this is how we have to denote it clear to everyone okay now comes the third point which is ray what is a ray it is a straight line that starts from a fixed point and moves in the same direction that is it has a source point from where it begins and continues to move in the other direction okay that is it has a starting point but no ending point clear it is represented with this arrow that is i will tell you if i ask you to mark to make a ray ab what you will do you will draw like this this point is the starting point because i am saying ray ab so this point will be a this point will be b from which it is going to continue to move on the other side and mark arrow on the on the next point that is the starting point is fixed which is a and continues to move in the other direction b and represented as ab with this arrow over the letters if i ask you to draw a ray ba what you will do what you will do what you will do so if i ask you to draw a ray ba again you will draw it like this only mark this point as b this point as a and write it like this b a clear to everyone now the next point is line segment 
it is the part of line what does segment means segment means part so what does line segment means part of line or we can say line ka part so huh uh, line ka part so what is a line segment it is a part of a line it has a fixed length and a starting and an ending point also if i ask you to make a line uh, line segment ab what you will do make a line mark this point as a this point as b that's it we don't need to draw any arrow there because it is the part of a line it will not continue to move in any other direction it has a fixed length so it has an ending point and a starting point clear next comes plane it is a flat surface which has length and width but no thickness for example this white board it is a plain flat surface it has this length this breadth it has this length this breadth but no thickness okay like this wall also it is a plain surface the table top that is also a plain surface clear to everyone now the next part is parallel lines what are parallel lines two straight lines are said to be parallel if they lie in the same plane and doesn't meet each other when produced on either side for example can you tell me one example of these parallel lines okay we'll discuss this later first of all i explain what is that these parallel lines lines which lie in the same plane they are appearing in the same plane but continues to move in both in either of the direction but they will never meet each other at any point that is the distance at every point the distance between these two lines is same that is this distance between these two lines at every point is same then only they will be appearing as the parallel lines if this distance is same at at every point they will not meet each other at any point so they are known as parallel lines so i was asking you about one example of this can you just tell me just think about it i'll tell you uh, the most basic example in your daily life you have seen that is the railway track those rail bars are parallel to each other they will never meet to each other at any point they are parallel or we can say the ruler or scale you use which you have uh, which you will keep you have kept in your pencil box or your pencil kit the ruler that the edges of that ruler is parallel to each other those edges linear edges they are parallel to each other okay next point is intersecting lines two lines are said to be intersecting if they meet at some point and lie in the same plane that is first of all we'll take the example of this here one line is line xy another is lm and they are intersecting or cutting each other or meeting each other at this point p they are known as this xy and this lm is these are the intersecting line here line av and cd we can't see that uh, that they are meeting at some point but if i extend this line ab to this side and this cd on this side now they are appearing to meet at this point suppose this is point o so they are also what intersecting lines clear to everyone now the next point is collinear points what are collinear points now if three or more points lie on the same line they are known as collinear points for example i'll show you how here i am making these three points this this and this if i'll join all these three they are appearing to be on the same line yes okay so these three points are called collinear points we can extend it also we can draw some more so all the points which appear on the same line they are known as collinear points okay next is concurrent lines if three or more lines pass through the same point in the same plane they are known as concurrent lines here i have drawn these lines line ae line bf cg and dh they all are 
appearing to meet at this common point okay so these lines are called concurrent lines all the lines which meet at one same point they are known as concurrent lines all the details i have already given in my notes so i think this video is helpful for you all to understand this topic i hope you will get it very well so in the next on the next turn i will be providing you some questions related to these points okay thank you and stay blessed